begin our reversible bodice, we're going to start with the burrito roll method. Place your fabrics right sides together and pin or clip along the shoulder seams. Sew or serge to complete those seams. If you are adding a flutter sleeve to your bodice, this needs to be done now. On the straight side of your flutter sleeve, mark the middle with a pin. Repeat with the remaining flutter. Place your flutter sleeve right sides together with your bodice, matching the pin to the shoulder seam. Again, we're attaching along the straight side of the flutter. Pin or clip the remainder of your flutter sleeve to your arm side. Baste along the flutter sleeve using a quarter inch seam allowance. Repeat this process with your remaining flutter. Place your main and lining fabric right sides together. Pin or clip around the neckline of the bodice. Sew or serge to complete the seam. To begin the burrito roll method, separate the bodices and face them both right sides out. Pick one arm side to start with. Separate your main and lining fabric so that the arm side is open and you can see both fabrics. Begin rolling the opposite side of your bodice towards that arm side. Roll it until the guts are completely between the two layers. Bring the main and lining fabric together along the arm side keeping all of the guts that you just created between. Pin or clip along the arm side, making sure to keep the other fabric out of the way as you go. Sew or serge to complete this seam. Pull the bodice through the tube you just created. Be gentle while pulling to ensure you don't pop any stitches. Now we will repeat this process with the opposite side. Open the main and lining fabric so that you can see the arm side. Roll the remaining fabric towards that side. Pin or clip along the arm side, making sure that the guts are far away from where you will be creating a seam. or serge to complete this seam. Bodice through that seam. Now we will complete the side seams. 
match like fabric. So the main fabric to the main fabric and the lining to the lining. In this case, I have flamingos and black fabric. Pin or clip along the side edge. Repeat with the remaining side. Sew or serge to complete this seam. To complete the reversible bodice, choose one side seam to start at. We need to match the main and lining fabric right sides together at this side seam. In order to do this, push all of the remaining bodice between those side seams. It may seem odd at first, but just go with it. Bring your main and lining fabric together at this side seam and place a pin. Continue pinning along the opening, making sure to match the right sides of your main and lining fabric. Continue pinning along the raw edge, pulling from the tunnel that we've created until you meet up with your original pin. Sew or serge to complete this seam, making sure to leave a 1 inch gap at some point in this seam. If you are creating a knot top, make sure to leave the gap in the back of the bodice. Pull your bodice through the gap that you just left in the seam. Locate the gap that was left in the seam. Close this gap with a ladder stitch, zigzag stitch, or top stitch the seam. Now you're done. Great job. And this is how amazing your reversible top will look. I can't wait to see what you do.